Movies. Rapidly changing images displayed on screen for usually about an hour and a half. Movies are fun to watch. The frame is a canvas upon which all great filmmakers compose their works. Since the dawn of the creation of movies, the only thing that has truly remained consistent is the moving images on screen, the visuals. And so as a result, many people tend to see them as a visual medium. And while they are, by all technicalities, correct, many people take for granted the amount that can be achieved without directly showing it to the audience. So today, we're going to be looking at the aspects of film that don't directly involve the more visual side of things. So, I'm just going to get the most obvious one out of the way first. So much can be told through the audio of a film. The audio is almost a completely different film, a completely different canvas upon which completely different works are created. Even back when movies didn't have sound, they were still usually accompanied by music, just performed live. But it's not just music either. Like, say a character has just fallen out of a helicopter and is now plummeting to their death. At almost any point in time during the sequence, the scene could go black and the audience would have to rely on the sound of the scene to determine what happens. Audio of a film is what makes it feel like real life. The tone of what's being said, what's happening around the characters, and the music all come together to form a human connection with the movie and the events that take place within it. Think of pretty much any scene from any movie you've ever watched and try to imagine it without audio, or with only parts of the audio. There's so much that can go into the audio of a film to make it work with the scene how you want it to, and it doesn't always need to directly work alongside the visuals of the scene. Characters are a pivotal part of what makes a good movie good and a bad movie bad. There's a lot of psychological research that goes into creating characters in film. Characters, no matter how much they contribute to the story or how much screen time they have, should always feel like real people. They need to have human flaws, but also likable traits. The dialogue and how they interact with one another needs to seem like real interactions. Characters are the driving force behind movies. They're the gears that make the whole thing work. Without them, you're left with nothing. You mess up and your movie is going to be a bad one. This can sometimes be the fault of the actors and other times be the fault of the writers. But no matter who's to blame, characters need to feel real for anything else in the movie to work well. I briefly touched on this one in the last part, but there's more to say about it, so I'll go over it here. Telling a story through film is in many ways similar to telling one through a book. The writing should be enough to make you see what's happening in the story, and it should, alone, be able to suspend reality and take you to the world of the story. Writing is important to give the audience, and even other filmmakers, a clear understanding of what's happening. Of course, with film, you have the luxury of displaying it for them clearly to see, but it's still important to write as though the script is the only thing people will see from the movie. They just tend to turn out better that way. The setting is important to the movie. It has to feel like where it's set. And while yes, the visual element can and often does come into play here, the setting and the feeling of it can be portrayed through more than just showing where it is. For example, in Spider-Man, it's set in New York. So the movie feels crowded and messy. There's a feeling of being rushed and being alone in a huge crowd of people like it would feel in real New York. The visuals barely even ever acknowledge that they're in New York because they don't need to. You know it's Spider-Man and you know it's New York because it feels like it. You don't need a big fat sign saying, hey, this is New York by the way, because you already know that without even hearing it or really needing to see it. Settings in movies oftentimes just don't need to be outright thrown at you. So in conclusion, movies, while they are technically a visual medium, have much more going for them than just seeing a pretty picture. There's so much that you can do with every aspect of life in movies that only focusing on the visuals of the film itself is just foolish. So, yeah. That just about wraps up today's episode. 
the last video I did like this actually did pretty well. So I think it's official that this is going to be something that I'm doing now. So if you would kindly like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. And I will see you next time.